branching off of that, um, you know, exam prep, I would love for each of you to go around and say, perhaps, you know, if there's maybe something, let's start with theory, because we did talk a lot about tasting already. When it comes to that theory and, and making those connections, do you have any study tips or tricks or things that worked for you? I know we're all different learners, so it'd be great to hear from, from each of you if there's something that really helps those light bulbs go off. For me, the workbook that, that accompanies your, your regular book, lesson book, uh, is great. I mean, it, 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 it asks, questions and you you gotta you know so we talk along you gotta learn how to answer a question especially when you're given an extended uh, uh answer when you're doing uh there's ways of doing it right and ways of doing it wrong and but it also what i did was and she was talking about the uh, flashcards i took all the flashcards i went through them with my wife and she asked me all the questions then i went back and took the flashcards and i researched each i never didn't turn it over i just researched each and every question so i it, it broadened the whole entire area when you're doing that you just start to expand your knowledge base on doing things like that as for me anyway well, i think i think bill's right then you got to practice the, the short written answer questions and you either uh, you, got, you got to read the book to see how they want it uh, answered. You can you can go online. You can there's a lot of information out there on uh, portals like YouTube uh, where uh, people in the we set programs will give you information and show you how to answer certain uh, short answers. But uh, practice, you have to practice it over and over. And I think I would have had, um, you know, my, my challenge with short written answer is I wanted to be very verbose and write everything down. Um, so learning the strategy of what exactly is the WCP asking for, as opposed to the whole written history of Bordeaux, what are they specifically asking about blending of Bordeaux grapes and why? Um, so practicing being succinct, because I know it, like in, in my exam I took in April, there were some people around me that didn't finish the theory part because that time goes really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, when you're trying to go through all of those questions. So I think being succinct and one thing that helped me with that is um, I did a lot of process flow charting, like the making of red wine, uh, the making. And so that kind of helped me think in those terms. So when I was confronted with the question, I tried to first do an outline quickly of, you know, what are they asking? What are the basics here? Are they, is this an explain or describe? Um, and, and by using those techniques to really be succinct, in my responses to make sure I'm getting all the points that are available um, and I'm not wasting time, you know, adding information that wasn't relevant to the question. That's perfect. And that's something that we always talk about during our, our 10 week course, right? Like all of the, the homework assignments and the, and even the self study um, tools that are in the, the online portal. The, the big thing is just honing in on what is it that the question is asking me? Because to your point, Jeremy, you could memorize everything there is about Bordeaux, but if they're asking you about viticulture and you go into the cellar and start talking about winemaking, you're not going to get any points, right? So it's about really, you know, figuring that out. And I'm so, I'm so happy to hear that you were making like brief little outlines and bullet points for yourself. Um, Cause on day of exam, it gets so nerve wracking to think, Oh, I've only got the two hours. I've got to just write my answers. But that piece of scratch paper could be your saving grace. If you, like you said, quick flow chart, quick list of key terms, you know, you want to mention, go back to that and make sure you don't miss some easy points by using like a key term or, you know, a specific, you know, technique that you need, know you need to mention. Um, and then did you already give yours? I'm sorry. I, like I said, I froze for a little bit. <laughs> oh, no, it's totally fine. I agree with all of those strategies I used each and every one of them that scratch paper. I outlined everything like it's topic sentences is how I think of it essay wise, right? It's uh, what are the key points I'm trying to hit, you know, uh, retention of acidity because of cooler temps, uh, where it is on the equator. So just bullets. And then you transfer it over with full sentences on your actual exam. And the other trick I kind of used was talk your family's ears off. Uh, explain a concept to them. G can you talk about, uh, you know, where something sits away from an equator and do it correctly? But if they understand it, that means you understood it. 
um, and you understand the concept so well that you can briefly describe it to someone else. Um, using your voice and using your true hand to write things down. Listen, we've been typing forever now, but actually picking up a pen and writing to paper is so important, especially when you're practicing. Um, it, it's something that I learned because I was cramping on exam day. Like once I walked out of there, I was like, dang, I haven't written with a pencil in forever.